Residents left in limbo after not being able to re-enter their apartments for months on end. Back in January, we told you about the residents of a senior living facility in Jennings forced out of their homes on Christmas Day after a burst pipe. Now, nearly five months after that incident, the building is still unlivable. Tonight, John Kipper is working to find out when they can go home. It's tears of anger. It's tears of frustration. Most of all, it's the fear that we are not at home. For nearly five months, this is as close to what you can call home for some North County seniors. Living in a hotel near Lambert International Airport. I am going through depression, anxiety, and I have a doctor's appointment on the 7th for my nerves. On Christmas Day last year, a pipe burst led to flooding and evacuations. When News 4 told you about the crisis at Fairview Village back in January, around a dozen residents were staying at the Hilton Garden Inn. Now it's up to 25. Remoria Betty Jean Taylor and Rochelle Jackson moved in more recently after staying with family. I think it's very, very embarrassing and very heartbreaking for us seniors to have to go through this. Who think that this would happen to them? Nobody. As you can tell, nobody can live in the building right now. Residents can't stop by twice a week to grab a few things. Management doesn't exactly know when residents are going to be able to come back home. We know that they have been displaced and it's been a hard thing. Rice Community Development manages Fairview Village. The executive director, Terrell Carter, tells me they still need to fix select units in the building that flooded. There's no timeline, saying they're waiting on permits from the city of Jennings. And as soon as those permits are issued, we will get to work uh, repairing the units. And uh, when those units are repaired, we'll be able to move uh, the residents back into their home. Pipe burst has been an expensive fix. Carter tells News 4 they're spending around $800,000 on construction and another 130 k on food and lodging for the seniors. They have my personal cell phone number and they actually call me on a daily basis is um, that they are aware of the challenges that uh, have been occurring and they know that we have been working diligently on their behalf to get them back into the uh, to the building. Residents at the hotel say they're frustrated at how long it's taken to find a fix. Stop telling us that you're going to do the job and do the job. We are all wondering when we are going back home. A question no one seems to have a clear answer on. Reporting in Jennings, John Kipper, News 4. The new mayor of Jennings, Gary Johnson, took over in April. He says the delays are no one's fault, but there has been some miscommunication. Mayor Johnson says the city is waiving fees and expediting permits to get residents back into their homes.